Hi, I'm Chrissy from firstdayofhome.com and today I have an easy tutorial to talk about making your own striped flower sack towels. You've probably seen these towels in places like Pottery Barn or Williams-Sonoma. Well, today I'm going to show you how to get the same look for a fraction of the price. I'm going to be using one of my favorite fabrics, drop cloth, but you are more than welcome to buy plain white dish towels and follow along with the painting tutorial. It's really up to you. If you do decide to use drop cloth, there's just a little bit of sewing at the end to make a hem around all of the edges, but I'll walk you through all of those steps. Now, one of the reasons I love using drop cloth is that a little bit goes a long way. If you've followed my blog for a while, you know that I love using drop cloth. I have used it for everything from stencil table runners to tote bags for the 4th of July. And I think it's a very easy fabric to work with, but you do whatever works best for you. Before we get too far, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more DIY projects, crafts, and recipes, and then ring the bell so you'll get notified every time I post on YouTube. So let's go ahead and talk about what you'll need to get started. You always have the option of buying plain flower sacks and painting them, but if you want to sew, you'll need scissors or a rotary cutter and a ruler to measure the dimensions of your towels. I used a plain blue acrylic paint. You can choose any color you like, and to it I added this fabric painting medium. Thanks to DecoArt for providing this medium for this project. It makes the paint permanent and washable on fabric, so I'm really excited to use this for the first time. You'll also need some painter's tape. I used this 3 quarter inch blue painter's tape, and I also used this frog tape just to tape down the edges of my towel. These will set the borders for the stripes on your tea towel. If you're planning to sew your towels, you'll want to measure your fabric 15 and a half inches by 26 inches. The finished towels will be 14 and a half by 25 inches. After you finish cutting your towels, you'll want to fold your fabric in half and measure the midpoint. This will just help you get your center stripe exactly centered on your towel. You can also take this opportunity to clean up any uneven edges. I like to use this water soluble pen when I'm sewing just to help me mark on the fabric. It does come out in the wash once you launder your fabric. Once you've identified the midpoint, you'll want to measure about three quarter inches above and below the center line to be able to mark your tape for the center stripe. As I mentioned earlier, I like to use painter's tape to tape down my fabric to the surface that I'm working on. It just prevents shifting when I start painting later on. You definitely don't want your fabric to be moving around as you start to paint or as you pull up the tape later. I then took my 3 quarter inch painter's tape and followed along the lines that I created above and below the center point. You'll want to make sure that as you put your tape down, you create a very straight line that's parallel to the top and bottom edges of your drop cloth or whatever fabric you're working on. And also make sure that you're pressing the tape very firmly against your fabric because you want to prevent paint from seeping underneath. The next step will be to measure about a quarter inch above and below your painter's tape and this will set the guide for your last two strips of tape. You'll then want to take your acrylic paint and add to it this fabric painting medium. You'll combine two parts paint to one part medium. So I'm going to add my medium until it's about half the amount of the paint that I have in my cup. I'll then use a bristle brush, which is great for any kind of stenciling or painting projects like this, and I'll mix my paint and medium together. You'll want to begin at one edge. It doesn't have to be completely to the edge if you're using your own fabric because you'll plan to do a hem later on that will cover any exposed edges. Just dab your paint on in a vertical motion to make sure that it gets fully absorbed into the towel. Now let's take a look and see how our project came out. You can wait until the paint dries before pulling back the tape, but I'm usually impatient and like to pull it back right after I finish painting. Just make sure that if the paint is still wet, you're very careful not to let any of the painted strips of tape touch the blank parts of your towel. You'll want to wait 24 to 48 hours for the paint to set. Then you'll want to use an iron to press the fabric for about 30 seconds at a time to heat set the paint into the fabric. 
One of the things that you should know about working with drop cloth is it will have the tendency to unravel around the edges. So for that reason, I'm going to show you how I quickly hem the outer edges of the drop cloth. It's really simple, so if you have a sewing machine or if you have the time to sew it by hand, I highly recommend that. Otherwise, you can always use stitch witchery for a no sew option, and I will leave some instructions below if you're interested in doing that, but let me show you real quickly what it looks like when you do sew a hem around the edges. I won't go into details about how to sew a hem, but you have two options for how you fold your fabric toward the wrong side of your towel. You have a simple double fold hem, which would look like this. It can get a little bulky using drop cloth, so I prefer this mitered corner look. And I'll put a link below to a video on how to do that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own DIY grain sacks. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think of this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more easy crafts, DIY projects, and recipes. In the meantime, I'm leaving a few videos here that I think you might enjoy, and I will see you next time.